I don't mind. Just ping it one more time for me, please, bro. That big ass drum on your damn gun, bro. You look stupid. You look absolutely dumb. All right, look at the scope on this man's weapon, bro. Let me, guys, who out here is making YouTube videos on builds like this? Which, which one of you is doing it? Come on, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Just gonna kind of mess with the enemy, see if he can aim. So far, reaction time seems a little lacking, not gonna lie. Again, reaction time still lacking a little bit. No big deal. Let's see if he goes for the flag because of his reaction time. Yep, there it is. <laughs> When in doubt, flag it out. You know what I'm saying, bro? Living in a scope as well. Another huge mistake. But guys, welcome back to another Warzone breakdown. In today's video, uh, it's gonna be shorter than shorter ever. In today's video, we're taking some random trios. <laughs> Maybe, I don't remember. Random trios. We're gonna be going over the do's and don'ts of the game so you guys can develop a better knowledge on strategy, rotations, and map awareness, as well as your damn mini map. See a big ass square in the top left-hand corner of the game? It's called a mini map things pop up on there that we need to know so when you guys are like why are streamers always looking at another monitor we're not we're looking at the mini map so when our eyes do this we're looking at a mini map right or chat one, one of the two things but anyway here we are with minkoff already got a teammate down we need you to get a buyback he lost the gulag we have a vehicle going under the tunnel don't need to worry about that he's long gone and let's see what we end up doing do we go now notice how he's going to the buy he's not looking to his left not looking to his right and is that airfield no, absolutely not. He's a level one. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're in for a long game today, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we do need money. Not much more, but we don't. We're thinking about what gun we want. Do we want this? Do we want this? Oh, mm. <laughs> finally making a decision and going with our weapon choice. I'm not going to slay their weapon choices. Whatever they prefer, that's on them. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't have chosen that one. Unfortunately, bro, Minkoff goes down out in the open. Not surprised there. Again, we're at airfield. There's a reason why I said that. We're at airfield. I'm very surprised he didn't die as he went out there. Once you get the buyback, you make a lot of noise. You guys observe your area. If you observe your surroundings, you guys can see a lot of things you didn't think about. Now, notice how he died. He didn't ping on the map where it's at, right? Or he's not calling it. Now, notice when he died, when he went down, he didn't ping it up on the map, right? Lack of teamwork. Granted, he's in the gulag right now, but he definitely could have pinged when he got knocked. So we have no idea where the enemies are. We do have a plate box. We need to find out if our teammate needs plates or not. He does not, so we're good there. Definitely ping that plate box, too. If you guys see some uh, things that you can't pick up, ping it for your teammate. Let them know it's there, because even though you already have a plate box, there's no harm in having two. Boy finds a self-res. That's probably one of the dumbest things ever put in the game. I'm going to be honest. This game would be a ton better. Um, Come on, man. Yeah, start shooting. There we go. This game would be a whole lot better if they didn't have pick up. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I can't focus. I can't focus. We're gonna shoot them or not? Oh, okay. Um, this game would be a lot, a lot better if they didn't have pick up self reses. If they didn't have self reses in general, if they didn't have dead silences, um, stopping power, things like that. They just took that out and just made people rely on strategy and raw skill. This game would be a lot more uh, enjoyable for casual players as well as goaded players, competitive players. All right, we are getting pushed. We probably should have shot him, but unfortunately we did not. We hesitated, and now we're going to end up dying. We're running to the top. No reason why. He's going to jump off the back without plating up, and the enemy should look down and get shot off. And we somehow survive. Now we need to be weaving in and out, cutting through. There we go. Get out of that hallway, because they're going to they're gonna be expecting you to be rotating that direction. I would have picked up that stun grenade. We need to get out of here. It's an aggressive squad. We don't have the skill or the know-how to fight it. We need to leave. I'm all down for fighting, and I want to teach you guys and always encourage you guys to fight. But when you're being pushed by three sweats and um, you're by yourself, you, you might want to reposition. Mankoff com coming back in. Let's see where he ends up landing. I think he's still in the air, actually. Nope, he's not. We could make our way to our teammate and buy our other teammate back, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to go this direction. <laughs> When I said leave, bro, I wasn't I wasn't talking about the whole damn map, map, bro. I mean, just leave that area. You don't you don't have to like go to a whole nother level. All right, enemy gets on the bike, sits there, and we're able to get the knock. Let's go. But he was being shot at by somebody else, so just be aware of that. There were tracers literally moments before we shot our weapon. Homeboy self res, we're able to get the knock again, and there it is. You always got a streak for us too. Advanced UAV, my man. Thank you. Call that bitch in. Now let's look at the map. Where are they? All right, there's the guy. No, nope, that's not him. All right, so who was shooting at us just now? No idea. No idea who was shooting at us. There were tracers, right?
But again, look at this. Look at this. Our teammate needs help. We need to acknowledge that and go help him. I'm all down for using advanced UAV. In fact, that, that was a play I wanted, but we need to capitalize off of it. Instead, we're just going to go off into... No, I get you want your teammate back. That's fine, but take the bike. Faster ways to travel or just take the bike to your teammate over here. Buy right next to him and then go in. If he ends up getting in a fight, he's going to get pinched and we're not going to be there to help him out. Oh, it's buddy UAV. Launch it in because right now he needs to know that this guy's about to come flank him. Okay, we, we ping that instead. Oh, weird guys. You got to be a good team player, man. But as a teammate, he fucking sucks. So let's just go ahead and put it out there. It, it is what it is. He was so worried about getting his teammate back, which is a good play. He should have the moment that he realized Minkoff was landed over here and we were still over here. He should just come this direction. We could have already bought a teammate back. We could have had a nice 3v2 and we would have won that fight. And here we are now shooting at enemies out in the open, making a lot of noise and look how many players are here. So when they end up killing each other, guess who the next target is? Also enemy on the ground level right here, going to the buy station. Oh, 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 never mind, running away. We got a guy in the tunnel. He's in the tunnel. We're looking up top, but he doesn't realize the arrow below the enemy means he's not looking at you. He's below you. We get a knock. Good shit. Hill going in, trying to get the execute. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. Ignoring the enemies around him. There's another one. Now getting shot from the hill to our west hand side. We need to go out here and solidify that kill to the east too. Yep, yep, yep. Web assist putting suppressive fire, giving us the ability to come over here and try to. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really push up the hill because then the enemies can shoot us in the back. Yeah, that right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those guys. Now, we are in a good position to gatekeep these enemies. The only the only difficult part is they have a way bigger ridge to play than we do. Right? We have a little bitty shack, they have a huge ridge. They can kind of converge, shoot us from the left and the right, making it very hard for us to peek. Look at the map. We also have a guy behind us on the mini map right here who clearly just shot our teammate. And as we sit here, exposed to the guys on the hill, come on, man, look, you gotta, you gotta remember everyone around you. You gotta learn angles, man. You see the ping, you see the ping, you see the ping. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Please die. Please die. Let him kill you. Damn it. All right, now the enemy team on the hill should be pushing over to, to uh, close the gap. They should be. Use that time that we're fighting to their advantage to get out of a bad position. It looks like there's a guy by the bush, though. There is right there, ghillie suit man, possibly. Found some Betty right in front of us. It's almost like Hill just completely just forgot about the enemies we're just shooting. Enemies pushing on the left-hand side right now. He doesn't hear. He doesn't have a headset on or doesn't have speakers on his TV. And Hill goes down. And now we are left. Dude, this, you got to say this squad just won't die. They This squad doesn't die. They just keep by themselves back. All right. Lebesis goes down. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're in a 1v1 at the buyout. We should have got our weapon. No, we should have got a weapon because now he's got his. We're trying to melee. Does it work? Oh, Minkoff goes down. We almost got it. We almost got it, but absolutely weird. Guys, if you're in a position like that. When you see an enemy landing in on the loadout and you're at the loadout too. I think I said buyout earlier. My bad. But if you're at your loadout drop, pick up your loadout. Don't don't not pick it up because someone else is coming to you. You're already at it. You already have you have your you're next to your shit. He's not. If he would have grabbed his gun, he could have actually put some shots on the enemy instead of meleeing him in the face. Very bad play. Now, here we are with Garcia. Level 660. I'm expecting big things from my dude Garcia because he is such a high level. And we're going for the supply run. Now, there is a supply run right next to us. We should probably go to, like, right here instead of this one. I'm not going to lie. As I was moving my mouse, <laughs> Denny was actually marking exactly where my mouse was. That's weird. That's weird. Yeah, here we go. He's, he's, um, pick it up, bro. Right next to you, fam. Oh my God. Oh, oh, we got tracker. We got tracker. Oh my God. There's ammo. There's ammo, plate boxes, armor, all that shit right there. There's a body right there, fam. Oh, and, oh shit. It went down. It went down at the duck off, boys. They, they were in here fucking each other up. But again, we had tracker. At first, I really wanted him to push, but then it made sense. He had 27 bullets. I get that. Um, we don't know how many enemies are over there. You don't want to contest three guys with 27 bullets. I definitely don't agree with the fact that we were so gung-ho on our teammates ping that we went for this one instead of that one. Regardless, we do have a very far distance to mark. Trying to find a vehicle to get to. Uh, I do I do anticipate players are going to be at police stations on the edge of the circle. 
there's going to be players there. In fact, the guys you saw on track are probably rotating there right now. All right, see if there's an orange crate in here. There's not. Let's go ahead and roll out. Back on the vehicle we go. Now, where does your teammate land to? Well, I would. we already have an ATV, so I'd have him land on the supply run. Granted, it will put him in a very bad position, but it's okay. That's where we got to go anyway. So if he wants to grab supply run and just camp like a little bitch, let him do it. That's the play to get your squad mate back for sure and also save your money. Also, guys, if y'all are trying to get cracked out of your mind and find a good energy supplement that you don't have to drink nine a day, right? I drink one sneak a day, guys, and I am fucking wired from, from literally start to end. So, guys, make sure you try it out. Just buy the sample packs. Um, use code Savage at checkout. And let me know in the comments section of the video if you guys like it. Uh, no one's told me yet that they hated it. So, guys, if you do hate it, let me know. Um, but I'm telling you, I'm so bougie with my sneak energy. I drink it with ice and a straw. That's, that's how I'm coming at it. All right, here we are, heart beating on the back of the on the back of the ATV. We got 13 sniper clicks in the window, and another team pushing them as well. We could jump off and go third party that, or we can drive away. And more enemies in the. In the uh, oh! Now again, I probably would have would have went and got that fight. All we're doing is driving through. All we're doing is driving through an area that's going to have 23 teams, right? So it's, we're bound to die eventually. Not surprised. They just got a. a He's got a double kill on that. Again, we're driving ATV way too fucking long. The teammate should have landed here, grabbed this, allowed us to go to one of the buy stations out here, got all three of our squad mates back, and then we could have converged together and played together. But because we decided to drive around aimlessly with no plan of action, we got beamed in the middle of farmland. Not surprised there. All right, so here we are, farmland endings. We're going to be sitting here camping. It's going to be a very slow end of the game for us, man. We're going to sit here and sit here and sit here and probably not push anybody. Wait a second, Fracky is going in. He's getting a little fire under his ass. He sees loot, we're just gonna stare at it. Hell yeah, forget looking around for enemies and people rotating to us since we're on the edge of the circle. We're just gonna see here ping shit a thousand times. Look, plate, heartbeat, thermite, just ping, ping it one more time for me, please, bro. That big ass drum on your damn gun, bro. You look stupid. You look absolutely dumb. All right, look at the scope on this man's weapon, bro. Let me... Guys, who out here is making YouTube videos on builds like this? Which, which one of you is doing it? Come on, man. Come on, my dude. Look at this scope, bruh. Look at it. What? What? It doesn't even look like it belongs on that gun. Like, how does it even fit on that gun? I want to see him ADS with this thing. What does it even look like? I don't think I've ever used this. Maybe it's goaded. Maybe it's the best scope in the world. And I've been sleeping my whole time, my whole life. Okay, okay, holding out the heartbeat for nine nine years. There we go. Oh, and okay, and an LMG. There's enemies right in front of us. You see them literally right in the middle. Oh, bro, bro, what are you doing? I mean, when he hears me when I say ping your enemies, but guys, you got to shoot them too, fam. They're out in the open, kill them. Big Bertha right hand side. We're not paying attention. Triple splat. One, two, almost all three. My dude, my dude coming through with the Bertha and getting two splats, almost getting the triple kill. That would have been a TikTok clip for that man like no one else, bro. That would have been a TikTok clip for that dude. Holy shit. -wee. I thought for sure he's about to get the triple wipe on that one. We were standing right next to each other. Again, mini map guys, pay attention to that shit. There's no excuse for that. I don't care. It's not about your age and how slow your reaction time is or how much you just don't know. Pay attention to it. It's there. Y'all should have been here when Modern Warfare first came out. They didn't even have a mini map, my dude. All right, here we are now. Let's look at the circle and talk about it a little bit. We got a lumber ending free loadout drop over here. Do not go for the free loadout drop in this position here. You will die. You will. You will die. You have to run out in the open. There's not much cover out there. I mean, granted, again, you might be in a very bad lobby, but I wouldn't go there. Okay, ADS on the enemy. I want to see what it looks like on high zoom, to be honest. Look at that big bitch. Also, guys, he's got no foregrip on his weapon. Very questionable. It looks like he didn't even have all of his attachments on there, to be honest. He's got a different butt stock. He's got, what is it, stipple grip, scope, suppressor, and the Archangel barrel, and the 60 round mag. Yeah, I guess he's got everything. I guess he has everything on there. Right, we hear gunshot again guys know the depth of your heartbeat sensor our teammates are up here and we're heartbeating that direction 
your heartbeat won't pick up over here or beyond it won't this is this is basically your limit all right so stop heartbeat and shit you don't need a fucking heartbeat sensor enemy right here enemy out here we can catch out in the open too paying attention to again mini map things like that that's how we know where the players are at a lot of you guys watch people and you're like how they always know mini map nine nine times out of ten or walls but mini map we need to rotate we need to get out of here i really wouldn't push through this area and eh, yeah i would yeah, well, you don't want to go right because then you're on the low ground. You definitely want to push through this area. But notice how we're sitting here sidestepping out in the open. What happens if we get in, if we get in a fight? We get killed because we have no cover. No. No, 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 no. We're way too focused on where we think the enemy is and not actually looking for where enemies might be at. That makes any damn sense, which it should. All right, we're going to go ahead and we might get shot in the back here. Because again, look, vehicle. Oh, oh, we saw it. We see it. Driving backwards. He's got to be sweat. There's out in the open. You're too busy heart beating. You missed the chance, but you did get the knock. Good shit. Another guy out there. Did he, just, did he just RPGs that man? He did. Yo, come on. Execute that bitch. Execute. Kill him. Bro, De Torres. I wish I could see how much damage they have. I'm going to be honest. All right, gas mask. Pick that up. UAV. Pick that up. Come on, baby. Come on, man. You got it. Pick up that gas mask. I know you want to, brother. I don't even think he knows what that is. Damn, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five enemies pinged on here. Unfortunately, that is all we have, but we're in a bad spot. Notice how Orange decided to rotate safe, but he's also in a bad spot because he's on the low ground. So we need to rotate as well. This is really where we want to be at. You don't have to camp in the buildings, but in a circle like this, when it's wide open, you this building's nice because it's got a bunch of doorways and windows and shit like that, that you can suppress enemies rotating like us, right? When we rotate out, you could get eyes on us if the ridge wasn't here and we can get some nice kills, but we are deciding we're going to go somewhere else. Oh, getting shot from the right hand side. Fucking weird. We throw a C4 and retaliation at ourselves. I love that play. Very, very nice reaction time. <laughs> Again, guys, pay attention to indicators. When you get shot, this little red thing pops up on your screen. It's directional based. If you get shot on the right side, the hit marker, the hit indicator will pop up on the right hand side. It's the weirdest shit. It's in every Call of Duty ever. All right, here we are closing the doors. And this isn't a bad spot to be in. The only, I mean, yeah, it, it is. It's not the best spot, but at least you're not out in the open or down here. Um, So it's better than where we were. But again, these buildings right here have multiple angles you can fight from, right? Windows, doorways, rooftops, shit like that. Three different levels as well. Um, so it's gonna be harder for enemies to push up in that building and get the kills if we're watching different angles This building here all they gotta do is throw some thermite in the windows some concussions some stuns and you're dead Don't really like to play at all and here we are again heart being our teammates window right in front of us looking right at us So if an enemy was to peek that we could be an easy headshot All right, I'm falling asleep watching this gameplay. Let me drink my sneak energy real quick boys Use code SAVAGE, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it. All right, again, we knew that there were enemies over here. And still, we're not looking out this window to see if they're going to push us. We're too busy playing and succumbing to the fear that we don't actually want to really play the game. We want to be in Call of Duty. We want to tell our friends we play Call of Duty. But we don't want to actually become better Call of Duty players. And again, this is why I wish heartbeat sensors would be removed from the game. It's a good tool, but most players abuse it and it hinders their own performance. If you guys are trying to get better at the game, rock stuns, do not rock heartbeats. It will slow down your own gameplay. Once you get better at your aim and you're more confident in the game, then you can rock it all day and start pushing buildings. I love the heartbeat, but as far as a learning tool, put it the fuck away, dude. I will say though, I will say, dude, this is as, as slow as this team is playing, as body as they are, their pinging game is on point, my dude. You got to give them some credit there. I see I see better pings from players like this, newer players, than I do from intermediate players. Goats, of course, they do everything. They do everything right, but intermediate players, for the most part, they don't. They don't do this. These guys are pinging everything. So I got to give them some credit there. They're doing really good as far as teamwork with pings. All right, enemies coming, rotating. Somebody needs to hug the window right there because he's obviously rotating to the right. Okay, now I have no idea what the, what the hell's happening. 
Okay, here we are getting spammed with grenades right now. I expect a stun here soon. We're all three in the attic, so this should be very easy for the enemy. We're going downstairs. Oh, no. Oh, no. Windows behind us. We're not even looking at the window. If the enemy even peeks in, we're dead, and we can't contest them. All right, here we are going outside. They may have jumped off and got right here, but this is a stupid spot. Don't go there. Don't go there. Torres goes down upstairs and he gets executed from the window. And here we are just focus on the loot. Very bad ending. Um, this is going to come down to who has the better skill, the fastest reaction time, the best accuracy, just because there's no cover. Oh no, don't do this. Oh, he's doing it. Yep. So now we're on the low ground. Um, not a spot you want to be because all the enemies have to do is just line up right here like a firing squad and shoot down on him. That's it. We have no cover, no concealment, no nothing. Bacon Graw, that's what I'm calling him. It's not, but that's what I'm gonna call him. Bacon Graw is over here getting shot. Fortunately, he doesn't get killed. And here we are still heart beating, nothing. Three teams left right now. Three teams left right now, dude. And this is, this is where we're at. Okay, now we've realized we're in a bad spot. We realize we can't get up and we run a huge risk of losing the game. Even if the circle favors us and rotates this way, and I kind of hope it does, notice how much it doesn't help us. Oh, weird. They lined up on the hill like a firing squad and shut down on us. Holy shit. <laughs> Who would have thought? Okay, and the circle does favor. So again, even if we would have been here as we're rotating, these guys, all they had to do was sit there and again, do exactly what they just did to us. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in a 2v3 situation, really digging this reactive camo. Not gonna lie. You see the guy on the right-hand side. Come on, man. Unfortunately, your delayed reaction and your uh, your inaccurate observation cost you your life, and they were able to go ahead and clean it up in a 3v2 very easy. And again, Smith rocking 16 kills. Not the lobby he belongs in, but again, thank you for SBMM Activision. All right, look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I know the gameplay has been slow the last few days, but again, I'm tired of not posting slow gameplay. If players are still playing like this, y'all need to be taught how not to. Stop doing the shit. Stop it. Stop it. I, I don't know how many, one more time maybe. Stop it. Don't, don't do this shit. Come on, man. It's a game. Get out there, have fun, move around. Don't be sitting there just doing nothing. All right, man. But guys, y'all be good. Please, guys, start practicing. Start getting out there. Stop camping in buildings with heartbeat sensors. You're breaking my heart. You're breaking my soul. Okay, I'm, I'm too old to be dealing with blood pressure like this. Okay, guys, make my spectating journey a lot easier on my eyes. Guys, y'all have a good one. Until next time, boys. Good luck in Warzone and keep on improving.